Well, I mean, I guess travel a little bit. I don't know if there's a huge advantage to it, except because we all understand it's something that you can win, that you should, right? That Then the advantage is you get to keep that win. Had it gone the other way and we lose the last two, they win their last three, and then we've given something to the other team. So I think that's it's all psychological. We were probably as good a, a maybe even, uh, as good a road team as we are at home. We, the record's pretty close, so that's all. We get to watch the next two games and see how that sorts us out. We'll make a decision on our lineup based on that. I mean, it's, it goes back to the same. I don't think there's an advantage one team or the other. I really don't. Travel. I, I, I've never, ever believed in that, that you match up well against one team. Because 10 minutes into that first game, either team loses a guy and everything changes. So you try to be smart about rest, getting ready, but you got to stay sharp-ish as much as you can this time, and then away you go. So I, I don't think it matters. I don't think it matters. Would that be a decision you make maybe tomorrow after how you deal no, with we've game already 82? Got, okay. No, uh, I think they play uh, Saturday, Monday. So we'll make, well, there might be an adjustment after the game. They win their next two, then, then we'll make an adjustment of what our lineup, sure. Sure, if we makes more sense to rest, we'll do it. If it makes sense, if we get a chance to compete for something, we're going to compete for it. And back to the game at hand, four goals in the first 10 minutes and then nothing until there's yeah. about 10 left in overtime. Maybe. It was a funny game. Yeah. We had lots of possession time and chances until we overplayed our chances and didn't get pucks to the net. Then it gets tilted a little bit, power plays, sluggish. Um, so now it's a tight game, and we've got something to play for, right? And I thought we were a little tight there in the first half of the third period to get through that power play. But when we closed it, the most important part of the game in my mind was the TV timeout. I think there's 404 on the clock left to go in the game, and we were right then. Like that was dig in, spend our shifts in the offensive zone, draw the penalty. I know the fans were wanting you know us to take an attack play there but we still had a minute and a half left on the power play four on three and the last thing you want to do is rip a shot off a shin pad to a breakaway and and lose the game so we they were smart they hung on to it and uh it's good for rhino in overtime this was game number 700 for Sigurdsson. Well, boy How impressive is it what he's doing at this stage of his career yeah 700 games for a goalie right that's the full 60 to 65 minutes you throw in the play yeah so that's an, an incredible accomplishment and then to at very least be at the peak of his craft, as good as he as has been. So that's very hard to do at, at, at any age, to have two real strong peaks in your career. And we're, we're certainly the benefactors of the quality of his play now. Oliver yeah. Ekman Larson, anything? Yeah, a minor. Uh, I don't know that he plays Tuesday, but we fully expect him to be ready. He, he they, The first time he, he came back and then, and then he thought he, he probably could have got through the game but there didn't seem to be much value in that. Was it something that happened during the game? Yeah, oh, yeah okay, it just okay. tightened up. It, it, I don't think there's necessarily an injury there. He just couldn't get something to loosen up. No matter who's in that defense, and obviously he's been really good the last five games, yeah. how much do you like what's going on? Yeah, that part, I thought, losing Lars hurt our defense today. I thought three and five, and we looked a little sluggish with it, but first half of that game, our forwards defensively, the huntbacks, the, the knocking pucks down in the offensive zone, not letting them get anything to the, to the blue line. We were really good there. So that's a big part of us playing well defensively. So we're right. The minds are right. You've been pleased with the way your team has stayed out of the box the last couple of games compared to? Yeah. I think the last handful of games haven't been, both teams kind of agreed that, that nothing was going to get out of hand, right? There's always a chance, but both, I mean, we play a pretty hard game. And when you look at some of the events we've had with you know, Buffalo, Columbus, and Ottawa are usually pretty gritty games, right? So they're at their end of the season, too, and they're thinking, you know, well, why don't we just take a pass on this one? We'll, we'll move it around a little bit, finish some checks, but it was smartly played. Before you left for this, the last road trip, we kind of projected that this four game homestand at end of the season would be kind of important for you guys. And yeah. A little bit longer staying at home is how beneficial has that actually been? It, I think it's next week is is where we'll start to see it because we, we, one game, you need two days off, two home days, to rest your team. I feel so coming off the road trip, you get there two days, but you're still dragging a little bit. We weren't very good early in the Ottawa game, and it was a quiet game. I think we built, we showed some fatigue. I thought in the back half of this game, and then we'll kind of recoup, and I think we'll be. We'll be well rested by the time it starts. What's left to do before game one, or do you feel like it's all, the hay's kind of in the barn? 
No, I, I, I think, and I've, I've felt for a while, I, I think the players have taken over the team in terms of what we're trying to do. You can tell by the way they talk on the bench. They're wired. Uh, but the, what's left is the juice. Isn't It's coming. Everybody feels it. They've been pretty... The difference, I think, between this group and last year is these guys are a little bit more serious, a little bit more focused. They know what they've been through. They know what's coming. They know how hard it's going to be. And it's, it's a bench a little quieter, just kind of waiting for it to come. Nice save by Sam Bennett there in the yeah. second. Skills. We, uh, we're developing them to do all things here. <laughs> you know what? I mean, probably some of the hard things that we do in our game when we're right, it, a lot of it is built on that. It's not on mistake-free hockey. or It's guys bailing guys out, shot blocks, uh, hunt backs, those kind of things. And they all get a loud cheer on the bench for it, so it's well appreciated.